Betelgeuse, situated in the constellation Orion, stands out as one of the most easily recognizable stars in the celestial sphere. Its vibrant crimson color and prominent placement have garnered admiration from both avid stargazers and astronomers. However, what truly captivates them is Betelgeuse's enigmatic behavior. It is classified as a variable star due to its pulsating nature, expanding and contracting in size over time. Consequently, its brightness fluctuates, sometimes shining as one of the most brilliant stars in the sky and at other times dimming significantly. Presently, Betelgeuse is an authentic behemoth, boasting a diameter surpassing a thousand times that of our Sun. If positioned at the center of our solar system, it would engulf the inner planets, including Earth, and extend all the way to Jupiter. This colossal size and mass classify it as a red supergiant star that is approaching the final stages of its existence. However, the reason for our intrigue lies not in its impending demise, as stars meet that fate routinely. Rather, it is the recent dimming of Betelgeuse that has unsettled astronomers. During the late months of 2019 and early 2020, this star experienced an unprecedented dimming event, resulting in a substantial reduction in its luminosity. This occurrence sparked widespread speculation and curiosity among the scientific community. Numerous theories emerged to explain Betelgeuse's dimming, but one hypothesis stood out and was subsequently confirmed by the Hubble Space Telescope. Based on Hubble's observations, scientists determined that the star had expelled a vast cloud of dust, partially obscuring its light from our perspective. However, since its last dimming in February 2020, Betelgeuse has not repeated this cycle. What we do know is that as the star recuperated from expelling a significant portion of its inner matter in late 2019, an event known as the Great Dimming, its surface now exhibits a gelatinous bouncing akin to that of a plate. Moreover, it has deviated from its natural 400-day pulsation, which had persisted for at least two centuries. Indeed, Betelgeuse continues to display peculiar behavior. Looking ahead, it will inevitably reach the conclusion of its life and explode in a magnificent supernova. However, the precise timing of this event remains uncertain, known only to a team of scientists who suggest that the explosion may be transpiring at this very moment or in the near future. Welcome to Random Fact. It is time for exploration. If astronomers were compelled to predict the next nearby star within the Milky Way to undergo a supernova, they might wager on Betelgeuse, the brilliant red supergiant star that serves as Orion's shoulder marker. Being less than 1,000 light-years away from Earth and nearing the end of its lifespan, it appears plausible. Nevertheless, the anticipated time frame for its supernova explosion typically falls within the next 100,000 years, which, in cosmic terms, is soon but disappointingly distant from a human perspective. Nonetheless, our calculations may have been flawed, and the spectacle could unfold before our very eyes at any time. A recent study conducted by Hideyuki Seo and colleagues from Tohoku University in Japan proposes that the star may be further along in its evolutionary path and much closer to an explosion than previously believed. Their claim stems from the star's pulsations. Betelgeuse, you see, is inherently unstable, regularly expanding and contracting with overlapping overtones. Over the past century, astronomers have observed variations in its brightness occurring over intervals of 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Typically, they regard the 420-day cycle as the primary pulsation, with the shorter cycle serving as overtones. The 2,200-day period, or six years, is generally considered a long secondary period, a characteristic of unknown origin that is common among one-third of supergiant stars. If the 420-day period is deemed primary, Betelgeuse's size would span nearly 800 to 900 solar diameters when lined up consecutively. If placed within our solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Jupiter. However, CO and colleagues believe this estimation to be conservative. 
According to their perspective, if the 2200-day cycle represents the primary pulsation and the rest are overtones, the star would be even more colossal, encompassing a diameter equivalent to 1200 solar diameters, surpassing even the orbit of Jupiter. Consequently, in accordance with its larger dimensions, Betelgeuse would be further along in its life cycle. Similar to the Sun, these massive stars commence by fusing hydrogen into helium within their cores, but they rapidly progress to helium fusion, culminating in carbon formation. Carbon then undergoes further fusion to create heavier elements around the core. Lighter elements burn in outer layers, leading the star to expand outward like a heated plasma balloon. CO and his colleagues employ computer simulations to monitor the evolution of stars from birth to old age, enabling them to calculate the anticipated pulsations at each stage. Their findings indicate that all four pulsations, ranging from the 2200-day cycle to the 185-day cycle, can be attributed to a pulsating star in the late stages of carbon burning. Following carbon exhaustion in the core, a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion is expected within a few decades, as stated by the researchers. Determining the precise depletion of carbon presents challenges. At this advanced stage, the pulsation periods do not undergo significant changes, making it difficult to estimate the remaining carbon in the core with precision. CO notes that it is not currently feasible to provide an exact assessment of the amount of carbon remaining. They have merely inferred that the time until carbon exhaustion is likely to be less than a few hundred years. Hence, to put things into perspective, CO's group does not suggest that Betelgeuse will explode tomorrow or within the next decade. Rather, their claim is that Betelgeuse will likely undergo a supernova within a thousand years instead of tens or hundreds of thousands of years. The 2200-day pulsation, if it is radial in nature, poses additional complications. Spectroscopic measurements indicate that the star's surface expands and contracts at a rate of approximately 1.5 kilometers per second. If this breathing-like pulsation persists over the course of 2,200 days, the star's diameter would change by 180 times that of the Sun during each cycle. Even for astronomers, such a substantial alteration is noteworthy. Furthermore, the 2,200-day pulsation would also impact the pulsation of the overtones. For instance, the 400-day cycle would not remain fixed at 400 days. When the star expands to its maximum size, this overtone would lengthen, whereas it would shorten when the star contracts. These changes would occur systematically during each 2200-day cycle. However, McLeod argues that Betelgeuse's long-term light curve does not exhibit evidence of such patterns, instead displaying more random variations around the typical 400-day cycle. For those unaware, when a star exhausts its hydrogen fuel, helium begins to fuse into carbon, leading to swelling within the star. As all the fuel is depleted and the remaining elements fail to counteract their own gravitational force, the core collapses, giving rise to a solid neutron star. The inward rush of surrounding gas rebounds, triggering a supernova. Betelgeuse, an 8-million-year-old red supergiant star, is believed to be in the final stages of its life cycle after consuming the hydrogen in its core. So, will we have the opportunity to witness the explosion of Betelgeuse? If humanity persists for a couple of thousand more years, then it is indeed possible. Imagine the spectacular sight that would unfold before our eyes. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Random Fact as we embark on this journey of exploration. Thank you.